Hi, for those that don't know me, I'm Virginia Walton. I'm an executive burnout coach, helping corporate women um, learn to say no, overcome stress, and avoid burnout. Um, apparently, too, if I seem a little whoop, the go live button, and I did not want to get along today. So, um, like I said, I'm an executive burnout coach. Uh, prior to starting my coaching practice, I spent 24 years in the banking and finance industry. I worked from uh, being a part-time teller at a small community bank to senior vice president of a $27 billion bank by the time I was 38. And the secret to my success, I got exposed to coaching and I took it really serious. It wasn't fancy degrees and connections. It was hard work. You got to do the work. And uh, that included working on me and my style. So I'm grateful for that opportunity. And now I want to help others have that opportunity so they can have an even greater level of success than I've had. Um, and along the way, I nearly burned out. And so don't do that. I want to make sure nobody um, gets to that point where like, you know what, I'll just, I'm just going to go work at Target because I'm over this. Um, so. Today, we're going to talk about uh, why you need a champion and what a champion is. So normally in, you know, if you read on career guidance or um, you'll see articles on the roles and you should have to help you advance your career, you'll often see a mentor, an advocate, and a sponsor. So I saw a really great, simple explanation for what those three roles are, if you're not familiar with them. A mentor talks to you, right? They're going to share their experiences and help you learn from it, right? They've been there. They've done that. Um, I was a mentor. I loved, I loved sharing my mistakes with my mentees so that hopefully they wouldn't make the same mistakes, right? Um, we all learn differently. I learn great from the mistakes I've made. Uh, an advocate will talk about you, right? That's somebody that wants to work with you. They'll say how awesome you are, what an asset you are to the organization, all these great skills you've had. Um, it might be your manager. It might be somebody else. Um, so that's great to have. And then the other is a sponsor. They talk for you. They open the doors that you can't, right? They know, they know you're awesome. They know your work. Um, the first sponsor I ever had was a woman who did the training at this local community bank I started my career at. They hired me part-time. She knew I needed a full-time job. I was working two part-time jobs. And they kept hiring full-time tellers externally. And she went to HR and said, you know, if you keep doing that, we're going to lose Virginia. And they're like, oh, <laughs> we thought she was happy with two part-time jobs. So if you um, are in HR and you've been in that situation and thought that, don't. Maybe go talk to the person. Maybe, yes, that's what they need scheduling-wise and for their life. But don't just assume that two part-time jobs is, is better than one full-time job. But that's an example of, of a sponsor. So here's what's missing. A champion. And you need that in life, right? Not just in your career, but you need that as part of your, your village, right? You know, we're probably all familiar with the expression, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I don't know why we think that village isn't needed to get us through the rest of life. Like at 18, we suddenly know everything and can do everything and manage life on our own. We, we can't. Let's be real, right? That's why we have family and friends and, you know, you've got doctors and therapists and mentors and all these things. It really does take a village. So when I say champion, I visualize, right, because I grew up in the era of Rocky, that coach in the corner, right? They, they're there. They're, they're firing you up. They're sending you out. And they're, you know giving you, you know, the jab, dodge, right? They're giving you some guidance. But then when you take that hard hit and you come back to the corner, right? They rewrap your hands. They wipe the blood and sweat off. They tell you it's going to be okay. 
and they're there to send you back out, right? They don't let you quit, but they don't berate you for the taking the hard hit, right? And, and if you think about it, some days in corporate America, you feel like you went three rounds in the ring some days. Some days you come out bloody in the victor, and some days you come home with a just busted. At least that's how I felt. Some days you felt like you had a fight. And I hate to say it, maybe this was just my experience, but it's felt like even worse. You know, I was the only female SVP in my office. So there were a lot of times I was the only woman at the table and I was younger than my peer set. So it felt like a fight. Maybe they didn't think that, but I did. And that's what mattered was how I was showing up at the table. So I needed that person in my corner as I'm building my practice. I need that person in my corner. You need that person in life. My first champion in life was my grandfather. He bragged on me like nobody's business. He did not always have his facts right. But he was proud. Now, granted, my mom was proud, and I'm sure your parents are proud of you or were proud of you if, if they've passed. But I always personally viewed it as well, your parents kind of, especially when you're little, they kind of have to, you know, own the fact that where, how you are in life is kind of partly their responsibility, right? As you get older and you establish yourself as your own person, that's different. <laughs> but, you know, we've all seen that bratty kid and looked at the parent or the grandparent. And if it's a grandparent, you can say, oh, that's my in-laws doing. My daughter-in-law is not very good at discipline, right? You know, we can dis you can distance yourself. So your grandparents don't have to brag, right? And I just made the first step into my first credit roll. I was really on a career path. I was buying my house and my grandfather died. I didn't have my, my cheerleader anymore. And that was tough. And so it's really important to have that. Now, I've had different forms of, of cheerleader champions um, over the years. You might have thought, oh, well, you were married. I'm sure your, your spouse was. He really wasn't. Because my success for him was a reminder that I was surpassing him professionally. And so it actually became a sore spot in our marriage. So I found my, my champions in other ways. I had this beautiful group of women that um, we used to exercise together and now we eat together. At least once a month, we try to come together for breakfast. There's about seven or eight of us. And they have supported me through some of the hardest things in life. You know, um, my ex-husband was an alcoholic and they had my back in different ways. When my mom died suddenly, they were there. They were at the, f the funeral. They supported me. They had my back. As I would struggle and complain at our breakfasts about things at work, you know, the boys club or the this or that. None of them had corporate careers, but they had my back. They listened. They encouraged. They laughed. They made me laugh. They gave me an opportunity to just unload. And that's fabulous. And here's why I'll tell you that you should probably have multiple champions. And maybe it's your spouse. My partner in crime is great. You know, the first time I took my exam for my coaching certification, I didn't pass. That was a pretty crushing blow. I went back to the corner pretty hurt thinking, wow, I feel strongly about this. I feel like this is my calling. Yes, I've shared I'm Catholic and I'm not ashamed to admit that, you know, I, God plays a hand in my life. I left my comfortable corporate career, uh, income thinking this was the right thing to do, that the timing was all lining up. This is what I meant to do. So, uh, not passing 
you know, as a type A overachiever, punch one, thinking this is a calling from a, uh, a higher power, or, you know, the universe, punch two. <clears throat> the fear of, okay, if this doesn't work out, what do I do financially? Punch three. I was hurting. So he came over, gave me a hug, said it's okay. And then when I stepped back, he said, suck it up, buttercup. You're too stubborn to fail. So that's a champion. They give you that moment to be weak. And then they tell you to suck it up. There's a great song by Kenny Chesney called The Woman With You. If you've never heard it, Google it. Because it tells this exact story. It talks about this woman who, you know, in business school, she was going to run the bank. You know, now she's hustling, juggling, closing big deals, making coffee and doing it all in high heels. And then she comes home, kids, bag of groceries spilling all over the porch on her way into the house and just looks at her husband and says, with the look of, don't say anything. And they just sit there and she takes a moment to just be with him. In that moment, he's her champion. He's comforting her. Now, if your spouse or partner is your champion, great. Now, the problem is when the when you're taking a, a hurdle, a challenge in your relationship, they can't be. So have another. That's where that group of women in my life, they come in. Now, listen, I felt a little lost when my grandfather died and I didn't have that champion. And as things are getting back to normal, and we've got a lot going on in our lives and it's tiring and I'm getting run down, right? So I'm, I'm like, wait, you know the signs, take care of yourself. But I'll admit a couple weeks ago, I had a couple rough days. And I felt like I got no one. I have no one. And I literally sat on the floor and cried. So don't ever find yourself in that spot where you don't have a champion. And I'll tell you, if you're going to be like, wait, you said you should have a bunch. You do. That's where you go to that bag of tools and that village. And I pulled out another one of my champions. And I got an appointment with my therapist and we talked it through and I felt great. But that's why, one, you got to have one. And it doesn't have to be somebody like a sponsor, a mentor, an advocate. You need those for your career. You need a champion in your life. And you need a few. Because if your partner in crime and your spouse is there and they support you on everything, which hopefully they do, awesome. But sometimes you're going to have issues with each other because relationships involve people and people are complicated. So have somebody else you can go to because that's always going to be, you know, if your champion is a, is a superior at work and they're always got your back. Well, sometimes you might have an issue with them and that's when you need a friend. Maybe it's a sibling, a close friend, a group. I think everybody should have a group of women like I have. I couldn't imagine having gotten through the better part of my adult life without them. Have a few. Have that person who's going to let you lick your wounds a little bit, but they're not going to let you sit in it. They're going to push you back. They're going to kick your ass out of that corner and back into the fight when the bell rings. But if you lose that round or you lose that fight, they're not going to berate you. They're going to say, okay, it's okay. Pick yourself up. Let me help you up. And let me help you get back on track. That's a champion. You get.
So I hope you found this helpful. And remember, maybe this didn't resonate with you right now, but maybe you've got a friend sitting on the floor in tears who needs this reminder. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say, being a champion, that's kind of what a coach does too. So if you don't have that friend or partner, if you're thinking, I'm an only child, I'm not married, you know, I don't have a close friend at work or whatever. Like I said, when I felt like I had no champion, I had my therapist. Try a coach. That's what we do. We'll say it's okay. It's all right. You missed this. What do we learn? What do we do to get back on track? but have a champion and consider sharing this because you never know who might need to hear this today because maybe they're feeling like they have no champion. So with that, I will bid you adieu. If you want to learn more, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, drop me a comment here. You can message me on Facebook, LinkedIn. Check out my website, virginiawalton.com. Let me know who your champion is.